Hey guys, what's up? It's Sue here and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be filming my top 4 cushions for the summer and yes, I am finally filming it and I just want to thank you guys for waiting patiently for this video. You guys are the best. These videos do take a bit longer to prepare just because I have so many products to try out. But yes, I'm finally filming it and as per usual, if you guys have any other cushions that you want to see, just leave them down in the comments down below and I will do my best to film it. So without further ado, let's just get this video started. So I'm just going to take you guys through these cushions in no specific order, just going to show them to you randomly. And the first cushion we have is this Mamont Brightening Cover Powder Cushion in Medium Peach. Now actually one of my subscribers requested this cushion on my Instagram and I picked it up and I am in love with this cushion. I think this cushion is really great if you need coverage and if you're oily skin like moi. <laughs> So I was testing it out and it's like super hot in Korea right now and I was testing it out through the day, through the hot days and this held out pretty well against the sweat and the heat and the humidity. So I was very surprised at that. And this also gives really good coverage. So if you have been watching my channel for a bit, you might have realized that I do need a lot more coverage when it comes to covering my skin and this gives the best coverage. It actually gives the best coverage out of the four cushions in total. So I do highly recommend this one. And they have a lot of good range of tones. So they have like the cool tones and the neutral tones and they have it in different shades. So I thought that was great. But the only downside of this cushion is that if you pile on too much, it will melt, but not in the most attractive way. It would have melted with the oil on your skin and it would just kind of like do well on top especially on my chin I've noticed not so much on my nose because I don't really pile it up on my nose obviously so yeah I think that's the only thing you kind of need to be aware of when using this cushion just make sure that you don't pile it up on your skin trying to cover everything or else it's going to get messy on your skin over time with that being said this cushion will feel a bit thick and too heavy for those who don't need as much coverage or who have dry skin. So I do highly recommend this cushion for those oily gals or guys out there like myself. And the next cushion I want to recommend is this Moonshot cushion called the Microfit cushion. I actually did a review myself on this cushion. So if you want to see it, go check it out. I'll leave the link down there or up here. And so because I already did a review, I will be brief with this one. And I must say, I really, really do like this cushion. Now, it doesn't have as much coverage as the Mamont cushion, but it gives a decent coverage so that I don't really necessarily need to use a concealer. I'm content with the coverage this gives and it goes on very thinly and like the, its name microfit it settles really well nicely onto your skin so despite it having a bit of coverage it gives you a, a thin layer uh, compared to the mamon cushion and it just looks very flattering on your skin so with that being said it doesn't hold up as well as the mamon cushion does it does disappear it does melt away with the heat humidity and sweat but I am content with it still because I guess I'll just put a powder on top and that will be just good to go. Even though I love this cushion, another thing is that I wish the shade was a tad bit brighter. So this shade is in 201 but it's still a bit darker for me and it has a hint of ashiness but it's not too bad. I mean, I'm willing to overlook that because the other aspects of the cushion are so good but I wish the shade was a bit tad brighter and I wish it didn't have a much ashiness. So bear that in mind for any of you guys who actually want to try this out but overall, I am very happy with this cushion. Now, while my other cushions are really recommendations for those who have oily skin and need coverage, this cushion is actually a recommendation for those who have less of a oily skin and maybe have drier skin. And this is the Laneige Cool... No, that's the shade, sorry. <laughs> this is the Laneige BB Cushion Pore Control in the shade 21C Cool Beige. And if I didn't need as much coverage and if I wasn't as oily, I would wear this 100%. This settles on top of your skin so so nicely it's very thin and it lasts okay throughout the day I don't see it disappearing that much with the sweat and the heat and I would just wish I had the perfect skin to wear this because this is also another great cushion actually my friend who has drier skin she wears this currently as of currently and it's 
humid and hot in Korea so I think for those who have drier skin this is another good match for you guys how I wish I could wear this cushion but this really doesn't give much coverage at all it's very very sheer but it still makes your uh, skin look flattering and it just gives you that right amount of layer lastly we have the Hera black cushion now I also did a review on this so if you guys want to see a review in depth go check it out I'll also leave the link somewhere around here and I must say this was my least favorite out of the four so in general this was one of my favorites but I'm just saying out of the four cushions that I brought out this was my least favorite for two reasons first reason is the price this is a pricier cushion it's like 45,000 won and I think you do get a refill with this one so if you do take in consideration the refill I guess it's not that expensive but I'm just talking in um, condition which means uh, absolute conditions when just looking at the price itself this is the most expensive so that's the first reason why it's the least favorite out of the four Another reason why this was the least favorite is because even though this cushion had great longevity and it had good coverage, when I first apply it, it doesn't look that flattering on my skin compared to the other cushions. It would kind of emphasize my pores around my nose. That's why I didn't like it as much as the other cushions. But I still decided to put this in this video because I've never seen anyone else have this problem. So I'm just like, okay, so maybe this is just my skin problem thing. Because of those two reasons, this is my least favorite out of the four. But I will say this is still an exceptionally good cushion, especially when it comes to longevity. For example, with the Mamon cushion, even though it gives great coverage, like I said, it doesn't look as flattering throughout the day. But this does a pretty damn good job. And throughout the day, at the end of the day, your skin doesn't look as yucky. You don't get that disgusting mixture of like oil and the cushion the product itself on your chin or your nose so I do think this is great when it comes to longevity and also it gives good coverage but it doesn't go on cakey so I highly recommend this one as well for those with oily skin so that was it for my four recommendations now most of these are for those who have oilier skin and might need a bit more extra coverage except for the Laneige one and one more thing that I want to mention is that while I was testing all these cushions out I didn't use powder and I didn't use base product so I just literally put sunscreen on and all these cushions and that was it so with that being said I think that if you maybe use an extra product to make up for each of the cushions defaults not defaults faults I think you can really get a good use out of each of them so yeah that was it for my top four cushions for the summer I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next oh and don't forget to like and subscribe Bye!